Zohan, now! So let's go. What is good, Meat Boys? You see that meat at the bottom right corner of this vid. So grill that slab if you're new here. This is Meat Boy MMA. We're bringing locks and laughs only. And in this one, we got Randy Costa, aka the Zohan, taking on Adrian Yanez. Yanez is 13 and 3, looking absolutely crisp in his most recent appearance. He just took out Gustavo Lopez in a fight that was just dominant, start to finish, and ultimately ended with one of his patented finishes at the very end. And before that, he took out the Alaskan Bullworm and has many other good wins to his name for sure. So I'm super bullish on Adrian Yanez, but Randy Costa is no joke either. Six and one, all of his wins coming by finish and his only loss came against Brandon Davis, who we know is a tough guy who will beat you if you don't arrive prepared. So who are you going with in this matchup? Giannis is a minus 190 favorite. Costa is plus 150, but this is immediate fireworks. Who you got? Yeah, this is a very tough one for me to pick. Uh, both these guys are absolute savages, but... Um... To cut it short, I got to go with the Zohan. First off, one of my favorite movies. Uh, that is the best movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. You'll understand why. No, uh, but Randy Costa has just been looking like an absolute stud. Um, I I just don't see how uh, Giannis is going to put him out. And I think that's his way to victory is getting that knockout. I think Randy's too tough. I think he's too sharp on the feet. And I think he's just an all-around better MMA. Giannis might be a better boxer, but... I think Costa full around circle is just better in general. Uh, so this would be a great fight. Very competitive. But I got to go with Randy. And I think he's going to get it done. Second round KO. Yeah, you touched on the boxing of Giannis. And this is a guy with some crisp hands. I mean, when, when I see him in, in all of his UFC appearances thus far, he's just been totally outclassing dudes. And so I'm, I'm very curious to see how the stand-up of Randy Costa stacks up against Giannis too. Because... Like you mentioned, Randy Costa can absolutely crack as well. And he has a super well-rounded game despite not having, you know, so much professional experience. So this one's a banger for sure. If we look at Tapology, 84% is rolling with Yanez. And most of that thing is brown. They think that Yanez is likely to get a KO or TKO. Do you think that Tapology is just way off on this one and Costa's going to get the finish? Yeah, I, I, I don't know where people are looking, but... You know, clearly, depending on the demographics, it might be just a bunch of Giannis fans that, that uh, you know, signed up on Tapology for this fight. But I think Costa, if you guys have been watching him, this dude's an absolute savage and it's probably going to be fight of the night. I don't see this being a one-round KO. I think it's going to be a two, three-round, but I think there will be a finish and I got to go with the Zohan. It's very interesting. I find that to be a bold pick, and I actually got to disagree. I got to roll with uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. I mean, he just got the ship, and I feel like Adrian Giannis is uh, right on his way to compete for the belt. I'm super bullish on Adrian Giannis. I think this dude's stand-up is next level, and uh, I see it the other way. I think Brandy Costa is getting put out, and even though you know I'm a big fan of Brandy Costa, I think the dude is an absolute savage. I think Yana is going to be too quick, too technical, and ultimately too skilled for the Zohan. So should be an interesting fight nonetheless. Maybe fight of the night, but this entire card is stacked top to bottom with bangers. So make sure to check out the other vids and Meat Boys, and obviously don't miss the Meat Lock.